I spent $109 at Trader Joe's today. This was a really fun haul because I rode four miles through New York City streets to get to this Trader Joe's and this bag was so heavy it actually bent the bike basket and then that was a whole ordeal. But nonetheless, I made it back and we're gonna go through this $109 haul. I'm gonna show you the new items. I'm Natasha with Natasha's List. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And let's jump into this basket bending haul. Hey guys, I am coming live from New York City. And I had to drink this because I just rode four miles in New York City traffic. Um, I rode through Brooklyn from Ridgewood over to Williamsburg. And it was very eventful um, and I made it and I was sweating but I wasn't going fast and it was like a video game, dodging cars, streets having big cracks in it. Um, it, was, it was an experience but it was worth it because I got new items. Um, I'm staying at my friend's house, so that's why my kitchen looks different. But um, the first thing I picked up from this kitchen over here, um, we tried these a couple weeks ago. These are the new garlic and black pepper almonds. So last night we made a charcuterie board and it was so good and I feel like we have leftover cheese and things. So we're, gonna, we're going to like revisit the charcuterie board. We also had um, like some cheese and salami. Last night it was so good. The weirdest thing happened though. While I was standing there like munching on just some cheese, I've never had this reaction before. My lips started swelling up, like the left side of my lip. It was the weirdest feeling. I took an antihistamine and it went down. Like I have never, ever, ever had that happen before. Um, if you guys are new to my channel on YouTube, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot. And if you're on Instagram watching, go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. It's free to do so and it helps me out. Um, for my friends that are letting me stay with them, I picked up some bright yellow flowers. As you can see, there are a lot of plants in this house, so they love plants. Maybe they don't like flowers, but like who doesn't love flowers? So I picked up some of the Mums Big Bunch. I like these for a lot of reasons, but the main reason is that they last forever. And the stems are already pretty clean, so you don't really need to do much before you put them in water. Just cut them at a 45 degree angle, put some water into the little vase that you choose to give it to, and then let them go. They should last a while. I don't know why this almond just tasted a little bit like a Top Ramen. Strange. Um, tonight we're making risotto, and they asked me to pick up some items for it. They did say porcini mushrooms, but I picked up some organic brown beach mushrooms because the Trader Joe's... Most Trader Joe's doesn't have porcini, from what I understand. Um, I, I believe it's usually dried. I'm gonna see if they wanna include this into the brown beach mushrooms into the risotto, just cause I feel like these mushrooms can go in anything and they're just so good. Picked up some of those. I also picked up some basil because there's this uh, pizza that everyone's making on, I think it's on Instagram or TikTok and it's, it looks delicious because it's like pizza dough, the garlic spread, different cheeses. Anyways, I, I'm getting some stuff. The only item I couldn't find, it was out of stock, was the bomba sauce. But I am in like an area that should have bomba sauce, so I'm gonna go into like the market down the street, which is super cute, and try their bomba sauce. But I got them some basil. I'm just gonna smell it. Mmm, that smells so good. Oh my gosh, I could just like, I I would like a basil scented candle. I would do that. I would totally do that. They asked for some butter. So I picked up some Kerrygold unsalted butter for the risotto tonight. Um, my friend's Italian and so is her roommate. And they start cooking and you're just like blown away by how well they like, they cook together and they're speaking Italian. I have no idea what's going on. I picked up a couple more bars. These things just like get me through moments where I don't have food and I need it. Um, they told me to pick up a yellow onion. So this one was looking pretty good. So I picked it up. This is a new cheese I want to sample with you. We've sampled it in the past, but I'm going to add this to the cheese board. This is the Truffle Trove Snowdania Cheese Company. It comes in this like, I don't even know how I'm going to get into it. They've got knives. I just have to find a cutting board, which is conveniently right next to the knife. So let's just hope. Okay, I'm just going to like cut the back off. I don't know the right way to do this. How would you guys do this? Do you just cut down the middle? It's got this waxy, it's 
system. I feel like we did this last year. We went through the same process. The thing is, these aren't my knives, so I'm like scared of them. So I'm like, is it gonna cut me? Oh, here we go. Progress was just made. Oh, okay. yeah, I definitely remember trying this. So you guys can see it coming open. And then, oh wow, you get wafted with truffle. I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, but we are making progress. And it's, well, I'm cutting it like a little pie. That's totally normal. Let's just see if I can break it out. Okay, here we go. I was looking for that cheddar cheese that I'm obsessed with, the one from the Scottish Islands. I can't, Ork Orkney, um, but they didn't have it. So let's try this. It's a bit crumbler than I thought, but it smells so much like truffle, it's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. That calls, that was so good. It's creamier than I thought in the sense that like melts in your mouth. When you put it in your mouth, that is so good. Oh wow. And the truffle flavor, it's just gonna give me a pimple, but it is worth it. Wow. The truffle trove, Snowdenia. Mmm. I understand why it comes in such like packaging. I'm also very excited because on the East Coast, they carry gluten-free pre-made pizza dough. They don't have this on the West Coast and it boggles my mind because wouldn't you think there's just as many people on the West Coast that have gluten allergies as the East Coast, but it must be a supplier thing. So check out those ingredients. I would love, 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 Love it if Trader Joe's on the West Coast started carrying this gluten-free pizza dough. Like, I just don't know why we don't have it. At least do a sample run. See if it works. I'm tempted just to rip it, like jump into it and bite it. There is milk in it. It's just the dough base is modified tapioca starch, rice flour, sugar, potato starch, millet flour, tapioca flour, xanthan gum, salt, water, dry milk, yeast, baking powder, deactivated yeast. All those things mean it's gonna be yummy. So this is the gluten-free Trader Joe's pizza dough. So I am gonna make that pizza today. I'm gonna like, we're gonna have such an Italian feast tonight. We're gonna make risotto and then we're gonna start off with a flatbread pizza. It's gonna be so good. Because we're in New York, I should have been carrying this the whole time. I picked up the hand sanitizer. I've ridden on a lot of subways, touched a lot of things, doors, carts, elevator buttons. This would have been really good for me to have the first day I got here, but um, I'm still here for another week, so we're just gonna pick that up. They requested saffron for the risotto, so I hope that Spanish saffron's okay. This is one of those little spices that's crazy that Trader Joe's carries it, and it comes in this like really cute little like jar. You can put like your earrings in it when you're done with the saffron, just clean it out. It's like tiny and cute. Um, last week, if you didn't see my haul, um, a really kind human in New York let me come use her kitchen and talk about my favorite Trader Joe's items with her. And she was like, you have to buy this. These are the root vegetables um, from Trader Joe's. So it is sweet potatoes, carrots, beets, and parsnips all in one bag. And they, reckon, they recommend just like air frying it, but there's no oil or anything. It's literally just sweet potatoes, carrots, beets, and parsnips. You can bake it at 425 or air fry it, toss it in some olive oil, oil first, 390 degrees for about 15 minutes. And these are seasonal. People wait all year for these. One serving, 50 calories. So it's kind of like a, a, a guilt-free french fry, maybe? I'm assuming. So maybe we'll make these one of the other nights in here. It looks good. If you've never had this garlic spread, you guys have to try it. It is so good. So this garlic spread is like, I tried it for the first time a year and a half ago and I never bought it again because it was, it literally melts in your mouth. It definitely gives you garlic breath. Um, I will say people hate the ingredients because guess what the first ingredient is? Canola oil. But the next ingredient is garlic, lemon juice, citric acid, 
So in theory, you could make this yourself using a higher quality oil. Um, I eat it not frequently enough that I don't, I don't really care. I eat it like sparingly. And if I'm gonna make a pizza and it calls for Trader Joe's garlic dip, I'm gonna sample that right now. Oh, this is a very long spoon. So funny, look how long this spoon is. It's so good. People use this on crackers. Um, it's like, obviously garlicky and citrusy, but it's got a really, really, really nice flavor. Um, I can see why this pizza is so good. That's why when I saw it on, on, on Instagram, I said, yeah, that's going to be good because it uses the garlic sauce or the garlic spread dip, which is over in the dips if you need to find it. For lunch, when I'm done with this haul with you guys, I'm going to eat the sesame miso salad. Um, the only issue is I forgot, not that I forgot, I wanted the green goddess salad with chicken. So they only had this one. Um, so I, I'm picking that up. This is a sesame salad with miso and salmon. It's really, really, really good. Um, I don't put in the onion flakes because those do have gluten on them. But, you know, the ingredients aren't too bad. There's three servings per container. And the whole container has 370 calories. So it's a nice salad. The salmon is a little bit light. Like, they don't put a ton of um, salmon. It's literally like, two, like this one has two bites. I'm sure it's weighted. Um, but I, I don't like heavy lunches, so I'm okay with it. How much protein is in this? 14 grams. I bet there's less based off the amount that they put in there. I picked up these fresh marinated mozzarella cheese balls. This is called for with the pizza dough or the pizza recipe, but I've never actually tried one of the marinated. This is the thing, I have a knife right now. That's a little bit of apple oil. Don't stop me from trying cheese. My friends are so clean, I absolutely love it, and I'm making their kitchen a mess, splattering things everywhere. But these little mozzarella balls will be perfect on the it's these ones. They will be perfect on the pizza. So. Mm. What is that? It's like olive oil, thyme, salt. Mm. Those are delicious as a standalone snack. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You could put these on a charcuterie board, like in a little bowl with some toothpicks. That'd be good. What, are, what is that delicious spice blend? Spices, dehydrated garlic. There's more spices than that, they don't tell you because they're like, it's too good, we don't want to give away the secret. But this is the fresh mozzarella cheese. It comes in this little container and it's over by all the other cheeses. That one's yummy. This is seasonal and it's a really good item. Um, this is the spicy uncured charcuterie collection. Um, it is a really good one. It's made with spicy copa, spicy suppressa, salami, cooked spicy capocola. <laughs> I need my friends to teach me how to say those things because they like the way they pronounce Italian things. I'm like, ugh, I wish I could do that. So this is really good. Spicy on cute charcuterie selection with spicy copa. Yummy. I do want to try one of the, I think I want to try that one on the end. I don't know which one's which. Oh, I just ruined it. It's like a peel and I just put the knife in the side. Definitely it has like an interesting aroma when you open it because it's vacuum sealed. Mmm. Super good. I love a charcuterie board. Mmm. This is brand new. This is the Trader Joe's Hatch Chili Jalapeno Cheese Dip. So I love the Asiago one. It has sour cream, sharp cheddar cheese, cream cheese, roasted hatch green chili peppers, roasted jalapeno peppers, garlic puree, yeast extract, cornstarch, onion powder, smoked paprika. We're just gonna put it in the microwave. Microwave heat times may vary. Remove outer sleeve, lift one corner of film, and heat on high for two minutes. Okay, we're gonna put it in the microwave. 
Okay, I just, I did that. This looks so freaking yummy. Check that out. Even if, and it's like unmelted stage. For two minutes, let's stand for two minutes. I just cooked for two minutes. All right, here we go, more plastic. Okay, so that's going. Put that over there. Um, I also picked up the Trader Joe's burrata. This is gonna be used in the, on the pizza as well. So you do the garlic spread as like the base instead of red sauce, garlic dip. And then you put a little bit of the mozzarella, burrata. You need the bomba sauce, so we have to go find some at a different market. Um, and then you put on some of the suppressa meats, and I, and I bought a little bit of, um, what was that that I bought? Oh, a little bit of basil. Other people are putting arugula, which I meant to do, but I forgot it. No problem. I can't, oh, and you also put these, the roasted red peppers on it as well. These are really good if you've never tried them. These are the roasted peppers. They're over by like the, I think like near the pickles and things. You'll find it. It's near like the harissa and other sauces. It's right where the bomba sauce would be. Um, but these is on their own. Let me just show you how good they are. Let me see if I can open it. <laughs> My hands are slippery from holding that mozzarella cheese ball. Got it. I want to just show you what these look like. They're so, so, so good. Okay, this is what they look like. They're like fire roasted. Someone's done all the roasting for you. I just want you to see that. How good does that look? Yum. I do want to eat a piece just now that it's out. Oh, so like I have a cutting board right in front of me. What am I doing? The weather today in New York is, guess the temperature, 65 degrees and sunny. They deserve it though. They've, from what I understand, it's just been raining, like so much rain. Okay, I really have to commit to this pepper I put out. These peppers are so good. The ingredients are red peppers, water, sea salt, red wine vinegar. Super yummy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Those are great on a sandwich. Literally, you can put those on anything. They're so good. They've got a nice smoky flavor. Um, Parmesan Reggiano for tonight for the risotto. They're going to be making with this. Um, we're going to probably have to grate it. And this is a product of Italy. Yummy. So pick that up. Um, I'm going to see if they're real Italians. I mean, I know they are, but real Italians, you have to put the rind in it. So we'll see if they do that. Um, celery juice that I'm still drinking, so it's really hot. For some reason, I thought it was going to be freezing out, or it ended up not being freezing. I picked up um, some dried mango. These just are like my absolute favorite. So I picked them up. These are the actual for mango slices. I'm glad the microwave's beeping at me, because I will not forget it. We are going to sample. We're going to sample it. It says to let it sit for two minutes, so that is what we're letting it do. Mm. Mm mm mm. Those are like candy. There's no added sugars, but mangoes are naturally sweet, so just keep that in mind. So oh, good. I like these better than the just mango, but you can't go wrong with either one of them. And then they asked me to pick up beef broth for the risotto. They said beef or, ch beef or vegetable. So I went with whatever I thought was gonna be heartier. So I got the beef broth. Um, so that should be like a good add. Okay, okay, we're gonna come get it out of the, the microwave. Feels like a microwave dinner in this little like situation I've got going on. I've really filled up this counter space. Oh. Not grab the knife like that. So here it is. Move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. Okay, here it is with the plastic still on. I'm gonna pull it open. It smells really good. Like you can smell the jalapenos. 
Oh wow. Just try not to burn myself. It's actually not that bad. It feels like it should be hotter than it is. So obviously if you make this, what you want to do, ooh, you can put this in like a little jar. I like when people tell me they're like, it's so good I can claim I made it at home. This looks ridiculous. This would also be a really good base on a pizza or like a flatbread. And you can add some chicken on top of it. Let's give it a, a, a try. I feel like it's not as like, the Asiago cheese dip was a little bit more like stringy melted. This isn't as stringy, so let's try this. Where did I put the lid? It's right here. This is what we're trying is the Asiago, not the Asiago, the roasted hatch chili and jalapeno cheese dip. You can also make macaroni and cheese with it, which we have a recipe for that coming. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. I mean, that's a really good dip. It's spicy. I'd say it's like a 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10. Like, I did just eat an entire jalapeno, so I feel like that's going to impact it. That's pretty good. I'm going to eat a little bit of this pepper to, like, offset the spice in my mouth. These, these peppers aren't spicy. They're like, okay, like, in my opinion, they're like a three. They're less spicy. But, like, the vinegar in it is, like, neutralizing. So that's it. That's this week's haul. $109. All the fun stuff. Thank you to my friends for letting me use their kitchen. It's so cute. And then next week, the haul, it will either be, I fly back Monday, so I may do the haul on Wednesday, just depending on how I feel. It'll be Tuesday or Wednesday, but if you're on Instagram, stick around. I'll chat with you guys for a bit. And YouTube, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back in my kitchen. Let me know what items you're picking up and shopping. I'll show a few of the new items behind me, so you guys can go pick those up. I didn't find them at this store, but I did see them this week, so be sure to grab those. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.